Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Now today I'm gonna to be unboxing for you the Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus for January of 2020, as well as Ipsy Refreshments. And if you're wondering what Ipsy Refreshments is, it is just a 100% vegan skincare line that Ipsy launched. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey guys if you are new here welcome I'm Jackie and I unbox different types of subscription boxes so today I'm gonna to be unboxing for you guys ipsy so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the glam bag now if you don't know what that is it is just a $12 a month subscription and you get five deluxe size samples now in the glam bag you're gonna receive a card that says dream it and that is the theme for this month now the actual card will have prices in the inside as well as product description. So always appreciated when Ipsy includes that in the, in the package. All right guys, so here is the bag for the month. It is just so cute. It has Dream on it and it's the baby blue color. It's mesh. I love the way the bag feels. It is so much better than last month's bag. I, I personally thought last month's glam bag sucked really bad. And I think that this is a much better bag this month. The products on the inside, I'm just gonna kind of roll through all of this um, pretty quickly. So the first product that I received in here was by Ciate London. This is a glow to illuminating blush in the shade Matchmaker. So the full size of this does retail at $26. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. So there is the blush right there. As you can see, it has a three dimensional effect to it. It's really pretty. Okay guys, so here we have the shade Matchmaker. And again, as you guys can see, it does have that three dimensional highlighting effect. It's a really pretty shade. I really like this a lot. So I am happy with this uh, sample in the bag. So moving on to the next product that we have here is by Catrice Cosmetics. This is a luminous highlighter. So here we have the packaging. And the full size of this retails at $12. And here we have the actual highlighter itself. Now I'm not gonna swatch this because I have a lot of highlighters already. So I'm honestly probably just gonna either save this for a future giveaway or I'm just gonna give this to somebody. So I'm gonna put this aside. Next product that we have here is by Gold Fatten MD. This is the Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate Eye Cream. Full size of this is 55. This does have rice bran extract, soy peptides, organic red tea, and arnica in it. It is meant to hydrate and help reduce the appearance of dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. Um, I do love that it has arnica in it. Um, if you ever used arnica on like a bruise or something, it really does help. So like heal that. Um, so I really do like the idea of the ingredients that are in here. So I'm super excited to use this. Now, if this did work and it did take away dark circles, I would absolutely 100% pay $55 for a full size. So the next product that we have here is by Glow On Fifth Hydrate and Renew, and this is a replenishing night cream. And this is just something you'll put on before you go to bed, you apply to face and neck, and this is just obviously gonna hydrate and it's supposed to help with like firming the skin and fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm actually gonna put this aside as well. Um, again, either for a future giveaway or give this to someone because I know I'm not gonna use it. I already have some neck creams and face creams that I currently use. So I don't, I don't want this to go to waste, you know? So I'm probably just gonna put this to the side for somebody. The next product we have here is by It Cosmetics. This is a product that I do use. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. So here is that packaging. Uh, full size of this retails at 27 and I can tell you guys from personal experience, this concealer is absolutely amazing. Um, it does have 48 shades and what I love about this concealer is it does give you a full coverage, but it doesn't make your under eyes look cakey, it's not drying or anything like that. And I just, I love it. A little bit goes a long way. And here is the size of the deluxe sample. So this is a definitely a product that I would recommend. If you haven't checked it out, definitely try this because I'm telling you, you will not regret it. A great concealer. All right, so the last product we have is a product I added on and it is by Yensa. It is the Skin on Skin BC Foundation, full coverage foundation, and this is in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm really excited to try this. I currently use Estee Lauder foundation. I've used it for years. Um, I just have great luck with Estee Lauder, but honestly, I'm just over it. You know, I've been using the same foundation for so long. I just really want to try something different. And I've gone to get matched and, or, you know, in the past. 
and it just never ends up working out for me. So I saw this, it was like three or five dollars, I can't remember. I think I paid five dollars for this uh, deluxe sample. And I thought, why not? You know, pay a few bucks, see if it works instead of, you know, paying more for a full size product that I, you know, might not like. So I don't know. We'll see. If you guys use Yensa, please let me know how it worked out for you. I'm just dying to know how this foundation is. So I will probably wear this tomorrow um, for this on, you know, when I go to work. So we'll see. All right, guys. So that was everything for Glam Bag. And I would have to say that this was, it was a valued at least at $50. And just, you know, based on the Ciate London, based on the It Cosmetics, you know, I would say the value was there. I wasn't, again, impressed with all the choices, but I do think that, you know, it was, it was okay. All right, so let's move on to Glam Bag Plus. All right, guys, so Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month. You get five full-size products. And starting in February, if you sign up for Glam Bag X, then your, your Glam Bag Plus will be replaced by the Glam Bag X because it is a quarterly subscription. So if you have not signed up for Glam Bag X, I will put the link down below in my description box. You can click on that link and just go to the Ipsy website and get on the list for it. And what Glam Bag X is, is basically eight full-size products. You choose three of them. And again, it's quarterly. So it does replace your Glam Bag Plus bag. And it's just supposed to be, you know, at least a value of $350. And, you know, what I love about it is it is curated by celebs. So it's got some name brands in there that are really great. And I'm just super excited to see, like, you know, if it really is as amazing as the hype is making it sound, you know. So I've already signed up for mine. So I'll be unboxing that for you guys. So I'm really excited for that. So right now, let me go through the Glam Bag Plus. Again, same theme, dream it. The only problem with this card is they have not been putting pricing in here. What they did put in here is horoscopes. So I am a Libra. So mine says, go with the flow and let your looks change with your moods. So, all right, I can, I can get down with that. Here is the bag for the Glam Bag Plus. And I do like these bags. You know, I don't, I just kind of put them the, to the side and you know, Basically what I'll be doing is putting future giveaway items in these bags. So I put these aside for you guys. So very pretty color. I do really like this. Um, you know, again, last month's Glam Bag Plus wasn't bad for the holiday season. The Glam Bag again was just a terrible bag for last uh, month. But this month they're doing okay with the bags. So I'm just gonna wing it as regards to like the products because I don't have any pricing with me. So I'm sorry about that. But the first product we have here is by Florence by Mills. This is a mind glowing peel off mask. This is just a purple peel off mask that helps to reset your skin after a tiring week. It is a purifying charcoal, rolls out dirt and oil while witch hazel and lavender keep the skin looking happy. So let's see what the actual product looks like. Here's the packaging. And let's see, I am excited to use this. I love masks. Ooh, look at that. You guys see that? Look at that. That is just, um, that's awesome. I love that. All right. So I am absolutely using this tonight. I am super excited. I love peel off masks. So you guys know I love anything skincare. So very excited for this product. So moving on to the next product we have, it is a 100% vegan. It is Maria Nilla Curly Q Cream. So this is a cruelty free product. This is a, just a styling cream. So basically with this cream, it obviously it says curly Q, so it is meant to help with, you know, if you have curly hair, like style your curls. But I also did see on there where it said that it helps to eliminate frizz. And that's why this was one of my choices because I do have frizzy hair. Um, when I let my hair air dry, it is kind of like a curly wavy with some frizz. So I definitely, absolutely, um, thought that this was probably a good product. And the product choices weren't that great either for the Glam Bag Plus. So I was kind of disappointed about that. So the next product we have here is by Wander Beauty, and this is a Frame Your Face Micro Brow Pencil. So here's the packaging. And the only thing I've ever really tried by Wander Beauty is the mascaras. So I had good luck with that. Um, this kind of does remind me of my Morphe pencil. So I use a micro brow Morphe um, eyebrow pencil, and I also use Anastasia Beverly Hills micro bra as well. So I do love these thin points because I feel like it's more of a precision tip for me. Um, you know, I used to have really thick eyebrows and like, you know, when I was in my twenties, like thin eyebrows were the thing and threading was the thing. And I used to get my eyebrows threaded all the time. So if we're doing that for years, my eyebrows pretty much just like fell out. 
So I have to draw them on. So these points work better for me. So I really, really like this. So here is the shade and this is my shade 100%. I don't like anything too dark because I feel like it looks fake and I don't like harsh. Um, I don't like anything too light because I feel like it doesn't look natural because my hair is dark. So this is kind of like that in-between shade. So I really like this a lot. So the next product that we have here is by Pure Lease. And this is the Blue Lotus and Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. This is the Intensely Moisturizing, Soothing, and Balancing. Now this is for all skin types. There are six sheet masks in here. And this was another one of my picks. I'm excited for this. You know, I think that these products are great by Pure Lease. If you guys have used Pure Lease, please let me know what you thought. I just, I think that these are great products. You know, it's just a really, really relaxing experience when you do like sheet masks. I just love it. It's like pampering yourself. So yeah, I'm excited. I've never tried this particular sheet mask before. So I do like the idea of the seaweed a lot. So, all right, the next thing that we got is by a brand called Cyan, and this is a rollerball perfume. Now I picked this because again, their choices were really crappy this month, in my opinion. And I thought, you know, I love perfume. I'm not really the biggest fan of rollerballs. I prefer a spray, but I thought, you know, it could be interesting. And this particular perfume, it says, is a inspired by Southern Alaska. It has Arctic and woodland notes of juniper, spearmint, and fir balsam, uh, sweetened with apple, cedar, and amber. So I asked my boyfriend, I was like, what does this smell like to you? And he said, like a man's cologne. And it absolutely does. So it either smells like deodorant, like a man's Old Spice deodorant, men's cologne, or a Christmas tree, like a pine Christmas tree. Those are the three things that it reminds me of. So if you guys got this in your Ipsy subscription, please write down below and let me know what you thought it smelled like and if you liked it, because I hate this. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like the absolute, like one of the worst smelling perfumes I've ever smelled in my life. Then that's pretty bad. So, and I'm sad because I really had high hopes for this, but it just didn't, didn't measure up. So the next product we have is by Seraphine Botanicals, and this is the Camelina and Strobe Luminizing Primer. And this is just a cruelty-free vegan primer. And I've never used this particular one before, like by Seraphine Botanicals, but I saw it on here and I'm like, you know what? Let me just add this on because I'm always in the market for a new primer. So why not, right? So I'm, I'm excited to give it a try. The last product that we have in the Glam Bag Plus is a beauty blender by Farah, and this is a latex-free glam sponge. So I have no idea why I added this on. I have a million beauty blenders, but I thought, you know, why not? You can never have enough. So I did add this on, and I think I'm actually gonna probably put it aside for a future giveaway and just give it to somebody because I really don't need it. So you know, we'll see, but. All right, so I do wanna go over um, Ipsy Refreshments with you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, Ipsy Refreshments is basically a $12 subscription. It's just a 100% vegan skincare line that Ipsy launched. And you know, if you go and you sign up for it, I do believe in the first month you do get like two items that you can just try for free and then they start billing you after that. So it's gonna bill separately from your other Ipsy memberships, but it does ship with your um, like Glam Bag Plus or like in you know your membership. So like when I got my Glam Bag Plus, this Ipsy Refreshments um, subscription was inside that box. Um, now, again, if you haven't you know signed up for it, I'll put the link down below for you if you wanna go on there and sign up. And it's just basically, you know, it's skincare. So shaving cream, you know, body lotion, hand cream, stuff like that, you know, towel, towels for your face, like cleansing towelettes. And um, it is all dermatologist tested products as well. So I just wanted to try it and see. Um, honestly, it's probably not gonna be something I'm gonna keep subscribing to every single month because it's there, I don't need the products really. I mean, I have like a skincare line that I use regularly myself. So I just don't think that I would like really get a lot of use out of it. So I don't wanna just spend the money, you know? Let's go ahead and talk about the actual bag itself. So it's very cute. Um, I do love that it is like the Glam Bag Plus type of bag. And I mean, look how cute that is. So it's very pretty, soft, silky type of feeling bag. And this is what the two products came in. They do, do include um, stickers. So if you're into stickers, you're gonna get a set of stickers in here. 
And the product that they put in the two that you get to try is a cleansing face wipes and you get 30 in this pack. So here is that. And this is just supposed to remove makeup, uh, dirt and oil, just like any other cleansing towel would do. And you also do get a hand cream in the, sh in the fragrance citrus spritz. So that comes in there as well. You can add products to it that ship out every month, but if you don't add anything, then you're gonna get these two items every single month in um, as an addition into your Glam Bike Plus box. So let's go ahead and try the hand cream. It does smell pretty decent. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I like the scent. It does smell like citrus and you know, it does feel nice, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's just not for me because I need something that's really gonna moisturize my hands. You know, I work with the public, so it's like I'm washing my hands constantly. I'm using hand sanitizer all the time. This does feel nice. So if your hands aren't chapped and you don't need that extra special attention on your hands, you know, extra special care, then this would be something that would work out for you. But if you're the type of person who gets like, you know, really dry hands, crack, cracked knuckles and you know, things like that, this is probably not gonna do the trick. The, the cream is two fluid ounces, just so you guys know. And I mean, that's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you guys have any questions or comments, put that down below. And if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And well, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. So until next time, bye y'all.